The 2025 Ford Expedition comes in two wheelbases, large and huge, with capacity for seven or eight passengers on both. The Expedition and Expedition Max are offered in six trim levels, XL, XLT, Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum, with rear or all-wheel drive. Ford's full-size three-row SUV has a raised ride height that makes it more difficult to get into than a minivan, but the Expedition and Expedition Max have a towing capability of over 9,000 pounds. Expeditions, with its body-on-chassis structure and four-wheel drive capability, gives drivers with peace of mind on unusual journeys. They also have one of the most forgiving rides, but this is slightly countered by their incorrect steering. Similarly, its large cabins are furnished with attractive interior elements. The interior is well-crafted, with a strong but elegant look. The upper coverings are made of luxury materials such as Palermo leather, aluminium, and open-pore wood. There are some apparent hard plastics around, but the Expedition still offers one of the best cabins in the market. Unlike some rivals, both the normal Expedition and the long wheelbase Expedition Max have spacious cabins and a third row that will not torture adults. Max also has unrivaled interior storage capacity. Every model has a power folding third row that can be controlled from either the cargo compartment or the rear seats. Both the second and third rows fold fully flat to create a flat floor, making it easy to carry stuff. The Ford Expedition is equipped with a large 12.0-inch touchscreen and Ford Sync 4 infotainment software. In addition to the capacity to accept over-the-air upgrades, it supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A subscription Wi-Fi hotspot is also included, as is a 22-speaker bang and a Lufsen radio and rear seat entertainment system. If the regular touchscreen is insufficient, the Expedition can be outfitted with a 15.5-inch vertically orientated unit, similar to the one featured in the electric Mustang Mach-E. The 2025 Expedition is equipped with a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 engine, a fast 10-speed automated gearbox, and rear or all-wheel drive. The basic engine produces 380 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, but on limited models, these figures are boosted to 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet. An even more powerful version is available in Timberline and limited trims with the Stealth Performance option which increases horsepower and torque to 440 and 510 respectively. At our test track, the Timberline model reached 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds, outperforming the V8 powered Tahoe Z71 by 2.4 seconds. The Stealth Performance model surpassed the Timberline time by 0.2 second. All Ford Expeditions feature independent rear suspension. The Expedition can tow up to 9,300 pounds, but the Expedition Max's towing capacity is limited to 9,000 pounds. The EPA estimates that the Expedition with rear-wheel drive can achieve up to 17 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. All-wheel drive vehicles are estimated to achieve up to 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. The Expedition and Expedition Max, which we tested on our 75 miles per hour fuel efficiency route as part of our thorough testing procedure, fell short of that target, returning 20 miles per gallon. The 2025 Ford Expedition's key safety features include blind spot monitoring, rear-view camera, stop-and-go adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, forward collision, blue cruise, forward automatic emergency braking, parking sensors, rear parking sensors, rear cross-traffic alert, traffic sign recognition, lane keeping assistant, my key, automatic high beam headlights, lane centering assistant, rain sensor windscreen wipers, pedestrian detection, and surround view camera.